Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys very much for 100 subs <laughs> first of all ignore the air bonnet yeah it's even kind of like i don't know but ignore the bonnet yeah my hair is kind of rough i don't know why but it's rough i was kind of like ill that's why i just you people just thought maybe like i vanished the plan was to be very consistent <laughs> the plan was to be consistent but i kind of felt sick so you know when you're sick and you just feel like maybe it's the hair on your head or like maybe it's just everything or anything so i just had to take my hair off and now my hair is kind of rough so thank god for hair bonnet because you know anyways thank you guys very much for returning if you're a new subscriber thank you very much for you do not just jam my video by accident okay you do not come across this by accident so you know what to do subscribe to this pretty face subscribe to this so that you can be seeing you know more of me and everything if you're a returning subscriber thank you very much for subscribing thank you very much for the love on the previous video thank you guys for 100 subs i feel like i'm even already like at the thousand at this point <laughs> but yeah thank you so much thank you very much for the love and everything today as you can tell by the side so never advise i feel like i feel like never advise yeah i feel like you do them with people am i right maybe like with your sister with your babe I feel like they do it with people but me i'm gonna do it by myself i'm going to be doing a never have i ever challenge is it a challenge i don't even know if it's a challenge <laughs> whatever it is whatever it is i'm doing a never have i ever never, never, never. i need to calm down okay so i didn't never have i ever subscribe if you've not subscribed because i really don't understand why you're watching and you're not subscribed does it really make sense to you to subscribe to the channel right now? Comment, like, like the video. You have to like it. Because I know you like it. <laughs> let's not let's not go over all of that. I know you guys know what to do already. Thank you for the love and thank you for subscribing already. Or should I just give you time to subscribe? If you've not subscribed, let's count to five. One, two, three, four, hi. Subscribe. Subscribe. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so now we can proceed onto the video so i kind of like roll them down in case you see me like looking down hmm? that reminds me you guys you guys i found my friends you guys i was thinking yeah i was thinking if maybe like i should drop the prank video first or should i drop this never am i first kind of like i don't know but it depends though it depends on how much love i get on this video that would you know that would lift my spirit up to give you guys the prank video <laughs> oh my god you guys want to see it i know you want to see it i know you want to see it because it was mm, yeah so i pranked my friends and i have the video already i kind of even like already edited and everything so let me know if you guys want to see that i know you want to see it because i'm going to drop it anyway i'm going to drop it anyway <laughs> okay so let's get right into the never have i i'm going to like be looking at if you know yeah number one question is um Never have I ever gotten home drunk with a guy. Which home? When you say home, which home? First of all, let me. <laughs> First of all, I live with my parents. Yeah, and even if I did not, I wasn't living with my parents. I don't. Think, nah, I'm not that kind of girl. Okay, I'm not that kind of girl. Basically, the second one is never have I turned down a job because it was not paying well. You guys, you guys. So first of all, I already accepted this job. I went for the interview and I was already... Should I... I think that should be a story time for another video. Or let me just summarize. Let me just summarize. So the question is never have I ever turned down a job because it wasn't paying well. Well, I have. I have. Yeah. So I took this job because I don't even know why. Maybe because I was broke. I don't even know. I should have took the job. And then I was there for like two days, three days. And then everybody at home just kept saying stuff like oh the money is small I, I knew it was small but i just wanted to do something you know but then again reality hit me when i think one time i was kind of like ill but i still had to go and i'm like it's not even worth it <laughs> it's not even worth it 
I don't feel like doing this anymore. I don't, you know. So I just made up my mind that when I was fine, I'll go to the manager and just tell him that I'm done. Can you watch it? Wow. Uh, it has only been like four or five days, maybe a week. So I just had a job for a week and then <laughs> your girl quit <laughs> because it wasn't fair. Because I just about the money. Funny, fun fact, fun fact, fun fact, yeah. So when I wanted to like excuse the whole, I have like runny nose. So when I went, wanted to like take the job and everything, yeah, there was already this guy there in the position. There was already a guy working there. So I think. The manager was like, it felt like I could do it better. I mean, I could do it better. I was doing it better, <laughs> you know. But I felt like he then he then sacked that guy. He told him to go. I think the guy was already expecting it anyway. Maybe they've told him that if there's a new person, they'll replace him or something. But I felt really bad because it was at that point where I when I was there that the other guy had to like. The, packing his stuff and he was leaving <coughs> excuse me oh it's not even it's not funny but like he was packing his stuff and then he was leaving and i'm like oh is he gonna get another job though where's he going is he going to be fine whatever just give me the job let me Ooh, okay low battery oh so, but basically i was just like okay just give me this job, I beg. Like, I don't, I don't, at this point, I don't think, <laughs> you know. But then again, I was feeling for the guy. Then he left. When he left, I put my stuff on the desk and it was just my space now, you know. But then again, I was feeling bad. The money was not that worthy, you guys. I don't even know what drove me there. But when I went to meet the manager and I told him, okay, I don't think I'll be able to do this again, blah, blah, blah. I gave my reasons. Obviously, not the obviously i would not tell him your job is not paying well but i just kind of lied about something and i'm like I, I don't think i can't do it anymore sir and he's like you, you know that i just sat someone because you were here i let him go and now you want to go you're not going anywhere and i'm like sorry what <laughs> sorry what it's like it was like you cannot go because when you leave there's obviously not going to be anybody to feel so you either bring someone and leave or you don't go first of all first of all there's nobody i know that would want to collect such a peanut butter money for this job okay so i'm not bringing anybody first of all second of all <laughs> second of all dude i just have to go i'm very sorry i'm very sorry i was actually feeling bad it actually took me a lot of courage to actually get missing to tell him i was not doing it again because i knew that it just let someone it just relieve someone of the duty because of me so it was kind of like why would you take a job let the man go the other guy could have just been there now they will not be able to call the other guy because they just let him go now it's just everything is just so yeah never have i ever was well, still in never have i ever turned down a job because it was the same way. all right i have like what 15 questions so let's go to the next one hmm. <laughs> okay next one is never ever ever dated somebody next one is never ever ever dated somebody for their money no why mm -mm. i mean no <laughs> no never ever ever spied on my man's phone it's my man right it's my man's phone right i'll do whatever i want to do with it whatever i want to do with it it's my man's phone thank you next is never have i ever betrayed a close friend we don't do that over here why well if you no because the answer is no i've not i mean if you feel like i have betrayed you come to me let's talk let's talk it through let's talk it out if you think that i have betrayed you before as a close friend you know but i don't think no nah, i don't think so okay never have i ever peed on the bed who has not who growing up did not pee on the bed because i did <laughs> and i'm not ashamed to say it but yeah i peed on the bed when i was while i was when i was while i was growing up yeah all right i did you know when you're when you're like in the dream and you're having dreams that you're in the toilet like you're in the toilet in your dream yeah i feel like god is actually great and merciful i think sometimes he just puts the toilet in the dream so that you don't have to disturb yourself physically by standing up 
and then going to use the physical real life bathroom because honestly like if you think about it sometimes when you actually wake up in the physical to pee to urinate yeah you don't get to dream the dream back so maybe god has just put the toilet in the dream so that you don't ha you don't lose that particular think about it <laughs> think about it y'all so well yes yeah, sure. i used the I used the dream toilet a lot of times growing up and I peed in the bed. Hmm. And when I woke up, I just tried to like hide it so that I don't get bitten, I don't get a whooping. <laughs> so yeah. Um next question is have I ever fainted in public? Well, in school, I think I have. In what GS2? I think I have when I was in primary GS primary five. Yes. I think there was this time when the assembly where you line up and say prayers and do the national anthem and everything before you go to your class initially for the day i think i was at the back and then i was just feeling kind of dizzy all of a sudden it just came from nowhere and i just bent down closed my eyes you know everybody was standing obviously but i just bent down closed my and a teacher came to me i was like are you okay are you fine why are you bending why are you like you know I'm like I'm not good. I don't think I'm good. And then boom, I just fainted because I knew someone already saw me that will carry me. So yeah. And then there was this time too in GS2, GS2 C, we were like in session then. So it's like GS2 A, GS2 B, GS2 because we we're too much. <laughs> yeah. So I think that was this time that I fainted. Like I was just going to use the ladies. I think everything was cool. I think then it was even a free period. Like there was no class or anything. So we were going to just play but then i was going to use the restroom and then as i was walking boo i fainted i fainted i think the last thing that i could remember was um me being on the shoulder of a, a teacher i was on his shoulder like you know when they just carry you like this and your head is beneath your head is down just throw you like this so i think that was that was what i could remember i remember he carried me like that like maybe to a taxi or to a car and while I was like upside down, my head was upside, I was just kind of like looking around. I was just so weak, and I was just so. And then the journey from the school back to my house, back to my mother's bed, I cannot even remember. I honestly do not remember. It was like a blackout. It was like, and it's not like as if I was drunk or I passed out or anything. Yes, so I was just maybe I was just weak or hungry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know okay so the next question is never have i ever cheated on someone no we are loyal over here we do not cheat over here okay yeah never have i ever ghosted someone i have i have <laughs> never have i ever broken a bone no i don't play rough and may i never see what is gonna break my bone because how many bones in my body boo like how no please i have not broken a bone never have i ever re never have i ever been rejected by a guy who did who no never have i ever gotten in a fight y'all <clears throat> growing up yes i've gotten in a fight as true like i was always ready to you know <laughs> yeah so i was then 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 <laughs> so yeah i've gotten a fight yeah never have i ever stalked an ex first of all you can only stalk someone who's there to be stalked over here we block our exes <laughs> and that's on that and that's on period wait now nah, now nah, we don't stalk okay nah bro never have i ever been in a fight i've already said that right never have i ever been scammed you guys this is bringing back memories <laughs> never have i ever been scammed you guys i have been scammed a lot my money lots of it wet <laughs> i don't even want to talk about it but yes i have been scammed never have i ever had surgery nope i have never had surgery um next one is never have i ever given out a fake number but who hasn't Next one is never have I ever given out a fake name, bro. I I I already have this fake name that has become like my name. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? So it's like anywhere I hear someone call me Vanessa, bro, I just turn and look because that's the name I be giving people that I don't want to give my real name to. So just know me as Vanessa. That is not my name. Okay, we move. 
do you get me so yeah that's my fake name if you know me you know that that's my fake name so next second to the last here we have two bonus questions yeah um never have i dated a guy younger than me no i mean kudos to you guys that do it for me no i don't think i can date a guy who's younger than me you know why because i feel like the guy is the head of the house and if my age if i am kind of like older i'll feel and if like i am kind of older and my age is like older i feel like he's my younger brother i'll i'll feel like he has no right to talk to me in some kind of way if he's younger than me now nah. the man is the head of the house therefore the man has to be older period period okay okay so the last question is the last question is never have i ever begged a guy not to leave me really now really now i tell people who still do this like you literally beg him why why are you begging him not to leave you do you not know that there are many plenty fishes on the ocean yeah there are many fishes in the ocean so stop begging that guy dude stop it because you're a queen you're a trophy let him go <laughs> let him go never have i ever i have never i don't <laughs> beg a guy not to leave me it's usually actually always the other way around It's usually always the other way around but yeah i've never begged the guy not to leave me it has never even i've never been in that position actually because they dare not or because fuck you go you know <laughs> so yeah i think we've come to the end of this video though thank you guys so much for staying with me <laughs> thank you so much for subscribing to my channel thank you so much for your comments thank you so much for your love thank you for giving me audience you know what i'm saying for like staying stuck to the phone staying stuck to the phone so yeah thank you very much um for staying with me thank you for i've said that before <laughs> oh my god okay so um if you watch to this point thank you don't forget to leave a like comment share share this video you guys share comment subscribe turn on post notifications so that whenever i drop a nice video like this so you're gonna know you'll be notified obviously and you'll be the first to actually watch the video so until next time